Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. Today I am doing my biannual fashion week video and that just means that fashion week is here and I go back to the last fashion week which is spring summer 19 and show you the guys the highlights of the shows from that sh uh, season and give you guys my favorites and how they have inspired me and at the end I give you guys a little thrift haul of things that I have thrifted that are directly inspired by these runway shows. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. Let's get right into it. Okay, so we're gonna start off with Givenchy and I just want you guys to see this dual tone purse and I thrift a lot of leather so I thought that that would be really easy and these pants, these cargo pants are amazing and I recently thrifted a pair like that. Go back to the last video and you'll see those. Um, and I want you guys to pay attention to how shoulders are cut off in this season. Um, you'll see a trend and I definitely want to try some of those things. And look at this like trench on top of it trench like trench like a cropped trench I really like that I thought that was a good inspiration and of course I like the stripes down his pants because I like stripes on anything and this trench one piece amazing I've been like mouth watering like drooling over stuff like that since last show but I just liked her double belt situation she had going on and then this piece the dual color color blocking is big and I of course love the green and the teal together two of my favorite colors and I just thought it was funny how the guy Guy walks out in this teal suit right after her like hey hold on <laughs> I got your purse <laughs> like he's chasing her so I thought that was funny but pay attention to this um, shoulder overlay I really really like that and I think <laughs> he's still chasing it like I take your purse but anyway um, I like this mustard color and cream combination really nice and then once again that shoulder detail on that so this next show is by Aria and you'll see on a number of different things that tassel um, thing going on and of course this green blazer dress amazing with the white boots yes I love that and then look at these pants the way the pants are cut and the way the multicolor goes on them I really really like the pattern on that and then we'll jump to Carolina or Carolina Herrera and I really like this little top. This, you could easily do that with a men's button up shirt and just gather it at the waist if you have the abs for that. I do not have the abs for that. <laughs> but for this yellow blazer, I am obsessed. I want a yellow blazer so bad and specifically that like that color that vibrant yellow and she even has gems on it it's beautiful I really love it and of course like I said before my favorite color is green and so again that shoulder cut the way that shoulder is cut like that amazing I love that and then next up is a t-shirt dress but it's in like a silk material with the flower print beautiful for the spring um, I don't know if I'll do anything like that but I just wanted to show you guys that it's beautiful and then of course I had to put one fluffy dress in here just I don't know for grands I'm not like a fluffy dress girl but I just thought this was cute especially the color of it is really pretty now cushiony I want you guys to see why I put this in here it's coming just hold on you'll see it in three there it is mm. a regular size girl walking the runway and she is hitting it in that um, citrion color yes I love it and then again you'll see that like tassel weaving with the uh, rhinestones and I think the top of her dress was denim so I like that and then this dress with the tassels once again it's a sweater dress with tassels so I thought that was cool and then again a plus size model here we go she was working it in that dress and the dress is gorgeous so I had to put that in here and then we have Fendi which I love their show I would recommend you guys going to watch their whole show because I really liked it I really like the see-through kind of raincoat with the leather intermittent in there on top of this ruffle dress love that first uh, look and then the second look again look at the shoulders how the shoulders are kind of boxy I love that 
And then this third girl with her raincoat and her hair braided into a bun. Yes, cultural texture showing everybody's um, best features. I love that. I love her hair with the little ringlets. I love this show. And of course her uh, leather dress was beautiful. And then this with the texture as well as the print working together very well. And this outfit, I just absolutely love. I love it. And then those shoulder bags and the pockets and pouches. I just love this show totally. And you guys know how I feel about straps and tassels. And I really liked her little crop top um, with the kind of mesh. Again, look at the shoulder cut off. And then the way this one is structured is amazing amazing and i like kind of the see-through of this as well as with the texture going with it like how they did that and this one has all the texture all the buckles all the <laughs> everything i really like that and for this burgundy dress uh once again the shoulders are amazing they styled their stuff really really good and so for the Fila show, I wanted to show you guys how, just like with stripes, I love stripes, of course, but how they did it with zippers, um, different color zippers. So I may try some different things like that this season. Um, but, and here's with the red, with the white zippers. I love that. And then next I wanted to show you guys this pattern. I've been seeing this checkerboard pattern quite a bit. And I actually found some way to the end. You'll see I found something with that pattern that I can upcycle into whatever I want. And the problem is, is that I can make anything I want to out of it. And um, they even have it here in a raincoat, which I thought was cool. But um, I'm trying, having a little trouble figuring out what I want to do with it. But I'm sure I will figure something out. But mine, what I have is more of the black with the white. And so I was so glad when I found it. And you'll see it at the end. In. but I just wanted to show you guys that that's kind of a pattern that I've been seeing quite a bit and I really like it both in the white and in the black and probably in any color I would see it I would like it and here's Hermes and I showed them last in the last um, when I did the fall inspiration and theirs is kind of along the same vein as their last show I like that little one piece at least well maybe it's a top in shorts but um and I like her tank top with the stripe down the middle but it's a sweater tank top i love sweaters and she also has on a sweater it's beautiful but i think theirs was along the same vein i really like the way trench coats are coming out now really kind of utilitarian very nice i love that all red one piece and the sandals are amazing and then the way they was really good this season i really like the way that kind of looks like a scarf but it's attached to the dress it's part of the dress so and i like the colors i like the color combination of that garment really nice and then um this looks like silk ties that have been woven um interwoven and put together as a dress i thought that was amazing i don't know what that is on her back i could never figure it out but anyway and this is a suede patchwork and I thought to show this would be really amazing for all of us upcyclers we don't have a whole lot of material to work with so doing patchwork is a good solution for us I really like this two-piece that she had on like I said khaki was very very big this year and then Louis Vuitton I love this first girl though just the way she styled her look and everything but they, their show, they wanted to show the venue really bad. And yeah, we get it. They had to walk a really long way, but they didn't show the clothes I felt enough. But I still had to put this in here because I really did like the clothes. I like the color combinations. And you'll see that they did a lot of billowed sleeves, but not billowed only at the bottom, bottom but billowed all the way from the top and you'll see it coming up here and i think that the movement of that it was amazing like this girl right here how that moves is amazing and even when you have your hands or especially when you have your hands tucked in your pockets it just comes off really really cool um it has a really cool vibe like this girl here so i thought that theirs was amazing and of course sport max I, this to me looked like the bottom of a trench coat cut off and made into a skirt so 
you're welcome anybody who wants to do that project <laughs> but and I saw so I had to show it to you guys and I like this dress it was just the feel and the color combination um, I'm into color blocking and I love this swimsuit with the stripes and then it looked like it had some um, like a different color on the um, bottom of it love that I love that girl shorts amazing I love you know tassels ties and another trench coat but this one had like some sheer paneling going on it and so I really really like that not clear but sheer and then for Victoria Beckham I thought I wasn't going to like her show because she's normally very very clean and it's not that these aren't very clean cut but they have more interest than I was expecting so I was really really surprised and happy to see her show she was this was actually one of my favorite shows just how tailored she was able to do a combination of tailoring and interest and so and then she showed us how to rock flat boots like this is an amazing way to rock flat boots you don't want the heels rock your flat boots like that I love the outfit and then this girl her kidneys are cold but I'm gonna show you what I like about this uh, sweater right there the pin thin um, lines going down the sweater I just love that with the cabling the lines I love that and I'm gonna try to do more of that um, in the coming months and then again this dress is kind of the same as that and then last up for her was this girl with the gold pants like the golden yellow pants the purse is amazing of course and again the slit in the front with the uh, white boots and then Isabel Morant is going to bring it home for us and I'm just showing this because it was just super fun this show was super 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 fun with the denim and like May denim and lame I mean he like went back and forth hitting you with denim and lame and this just made me feel like nostalgic it made me feel like back in the day playing with Barbies and I actually have something that I'm gonna do that is the feeling that has that exact feeling of that girl right there and I just like his job suit but it just made me feel like back in the day like when I was playing with Barbies because this is how our Barbies dressed <laughs> back in the day um, this is the feeling of the era of the Barbies but I just thought it was really cool and then towards the end of his show he had more of these lacy and he had both in white and in black but these lacy uh tops um sh kind of sheer tops to go over it so and some woven and again with a nice shoulder cut um, so yeah, you guys go pay attention. I linked all of them in the description box below so you guys can, um, so you guys can look and see what, you know, what inspires you. I know that I have a very specific style. Like I really love sportswear and tassels and ties and stripes and just different things like that. But take a look, see what type of inspiration you get, not only for what you're going to wear, because we don't all want necessarily to be trendy but I get so much inspiration for what I want to upcycle by watching the runway show so definitely go take a look at that all right are you guys ready to see what I thrifted um, that is directly related to these runway shows all right okay so first up we have um, something that was it wasn't actually inspired by the Isabel Morant show I actually thought of it before I saw the picture but um, when I saw that picture, I'm like, ah, right, I have that project already in mind to do. And basically I have this, um, these plaid pants and I'm actually torn because I really, really want a pair of, um, high waist flare leg, not yeah, wide leg, um, plaid pants. And I haven't been able to really find what I'm looking for. And if I turn these into that, I could, that I could have that, but I had planned on turning these pants and these kind of washed out denim these jeans into and you can see they have that kind of uh that very 80s 90s feel to them and i was gonna make a blazer out of these two so you guys vote in the description box let me know whether you think i should just turn these into a pair of high-waisted wide leg pants or do both of them combination and make a vintage looking blazer i'm curious to see what you guys are gonna say okay so next up i told you guys i was obsessed with that canary 
is that canary yellow i think it's canary yellow but i found this two-piece set it's linen or linen blend so it is a two-piece and i am going to make a one piece out of it so that's actually going to be a pretty easy project so um i'll probably be doing that soon i have been experimenting with you know like the flowy dresses and how um I can do that as an upcycler and so mixed prints is big and so I have been as I've been going along just thrifting a few things that I think will marry well together if I do a billowy dress that is um you know upcycled so these are the three things that i have i'll get closer so i showed you guys this last time i have still i've actually showed you this twice um i still haven't done it yet but i got a few more things to add with it or possibly then the next thing is very similar to that i thought that I thrifted two exact same dresses and I'm so glad I was in the thrift store the other day and I saw what I thought was the exact same dress to a uh, dress that I had thrifted previously but when I got it home it wasn't and I'm so happy I got it because one has big polka dots and one has small polka dots they're by the same brand and they're the same cut of dress same exact dress one is an eight one is a ten but, I mean, one is a little bit longer than the other one. But, um, they're different print. So, if I use these two um, to put together and make, you know, something with some ruffles or something like that, I'm curious to see how I can, you know, create something a little bit different. And this really reminds me of Off-White. If you know the designer off-white Virgil Abloh, I really, really like this chevron print going down the front. And I don't know if I'll keep the stripes on the side, but I thought that that would be a really nice detail. So it's kind of a mix between off-white and um, Fila. Whole tracksuit that I got in a very light gray. And you're probably like, well, why are you, why do you have that as far as like upcycling? The reason I have this as far as upcycling is that I really, really like this tracksuit. I like just the kind of uh, pale gray with the white and gray stripe on the side. But it's a really old tracksuit and the pants are trashed. The pants have like stains all over. So I'm trying to figure out what I can do. I'm thinking of patches, some form of patches. So stay tuned to see if I can get that done. I told you guys I found it. Um, this print that I have been obsessed with, I'll put a picture of a dress that I really, really wanted to make. I'm second guessing whether I'll make this dress, but I'm definitely gonna make something, but it is a pair of pants. And I apologize for the person who can fit these pair of pants and would love them, but I've been looking for this print <laughs> for a really long time and I am going to make something out of them. And the material is a, a little a tad bit stretchy, so it will make a, like a fitted dress really well. So we'll see what I can make out of it, but I was so happy to find this. I found these actually at Style Encore and I, been looking for them so bad I wanted this print so bad that I paid $10 for them so I typically don't pay $10 for things that I am going to upcycle but in this case I did so I it better be good <laughs> it better turn out good okay so that is it for my spring summer 2019 fashion inspiration review let me know in the comment section what designer inspires you as well as which piece you are most excited to see me upcycle definitely subscribe so you don't miss any of these upcycles and i'll see you guys in the next one bye